Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making a canon gift that you can give for Christmas and everybody's looking for a way to give some Christmas gifts to the people they love without costing them an arm and a leg. So this is a recipe that I picked up from my friend over at City Girl Homestead. She has a channel as well and she does a lot of canning, dehydrating, preserving like that and she is overall just a great person. I really enjoy her spirit and her meals and just talking to her. She treats me a lot like a daughter and uh, Chris, I really appreciate that. You are a true friend that I have gained from this channel that I was not expecting. And she is really a great inspiration for anybody who's wanting to learn how to can and pantry cook. So go check her out. Make sure you tell her Mama Baird sent you. If you're looking for some more ideas on how to do frugal cooking, she is really great at that. So go check over City girl homestead i will link her channel below give her some love and make sure you thank her for this recipe because i am going to be sharing it with you now this is a crock pot caramel i know you guys have heard if you take sweetened condensed milk and boil it in the can you can make caramel well i don't know if you know but you can do it in the crock pot as well and this way you can also do it in canning jars so they will seal and then you will have caramel on the shelf sweet caramel that you can put on ice cream put it on donut put it on a bread pudding swirl it in a milkshake drizzle in your coffee eat from the jar with a spoon whatever you can think to use this <laughs> got it whatever you would use caramel sauce for you can use this for and it makes a great gift i think it's fairly thoughtful to give homemade gifts Hi, if you're new here, I'm Carolina and I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, pantry cooking, and canning and preserving on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I would love for you to join my family. All right, so let's get down in here and I will show you how to make this caramel. All right, I have my two cans here opened. I'm just going to pour this into my canning jar. Let's see, I only have two cans, so I'm not going to be able to make too much. I'm going to go do a one inch headspace. I guess now I know I need to put condensed milk on my list. Now condensed milk is literally just milk and sugar, guys. Like you can make this homemade. I've never done that before, but I know that's a thing. So you can totally make your own sweetened condensed milk and then do this. And that would be good too, and that would be even more frugal. Now that that's in there, I have a little bit of vinegar on my towel here. I'm going to make sure I get all this sticky sweet stuff off. That way it'll have a nice good seal. Anything really super sticky or super greasy, you want to make sure that you get really well. But we're just doing this cold, so room temperature, jars, room temperature, sweet condensed milk, room temperature crock pot. I do have it on warm. Okay, so two cans got me one jelly jar and then four four ounce jars. Just fingertip tight like normal. Tear the lid off. Now we're just gonna put this in our crock pot. We want to make sure the water is above the top of it. So we'll see if we need to add some more. Yep, I'm gonna add a little more to cover that. So we're gonna put our lid on. We're gonna switch this to low and we're gonna let that go for eight hours and then it should be done. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I let this go for eight hours and then I just had my husband shut it off before he went to bed and then it's just been cooling in here since then. So we are going to bring it out and we're gonna check out our caramel. This looks beautiful. This turned out perfect. Like it's crazy how that works. You just boil some sweetened condensed milk and you got caramel. Now some of this did, you can kind of see just some rust up here from the water. It's fine. Like you just rub it off. See, I'm just wiping it off with a towel. Comes right off. So no worries about that. I almost want to crack one open and try it. You want to try it with me? Let's give it a try. All right. Hold on. Let me find my spoon. Oh, do you hear that? It did seal. I mean, it smells like caramel. Oh, 
Oh, it's still warm, guys. Mmm. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I'm brewing a cup of coffee. I might put some in it. Um. Oh, this is good. Wow, that is so tasty. I can't believe I've never tried that hack before. I hope you give this caramel a try. This makes absolutely the best Christmas gift. Who wouldn't want a gift of caramel? I mean, I know I would be all about it. So try and give something new. Try and do a little more budget-friendly Christmas gifts this year. You know, and if you have a family member who doesn't appreciate it, then, well, they don't need your home canned caramel because they don't deserve it, and it tastes delicious. That's what I say about that. Thank you, Chris, for sharing this recipe and a super easy way to go about it too. Like that took no energy and no effort at all to put those in the jars and get them in a crock pot for eight hours. And now I have some delicious, beautiful caramel that I can make myself fatter with. And remember guys, calories don't count during the holidays. So I hope you guys have a good Christmas. Think of something frugal to give gifts this year. Be creative, you know, don't go into debt for Christmas, guys. It is not worth it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time on Mama Bairds. Mm -hmm.